the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Finances, zero. Children, zero. Lord, you gave me a word this year that by now I will have a child, and now I don't have the child. Lord, you said you were going to correct my finances. Lord, you said you will bless my family. And November, things are worse than they were January. Let me teach you what to do. Even if you cry, cry in joy. Vow that you will never complain. Satan, you will not hear me communicate sorrow. You will only hear a song from my heart to the heavens. Because I know that my Redeemer is true. Let the weak say. He didn't say let the weak explain why they are weak. Let the weak say, I am strong. Please understand what I'm telling you. If everything leaves my life, there are two things that will remain. God and joy. Leave these two things in my life and everything will come back again. I assure you. Yes, sir. Joy. 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 God wants you to have joy. The joy of the Holy Spirit. You are full of joy. You are bubbling. You get up in the morning and you are not afraid of waking up because you now be aware of all the problems in your life. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah, it's a great day. You find a song and you are singing. And while you are singing, you are, the devil is reminding you. He's a master of the sense realm. And so he continues to, to remind you. You're a man of God. You go to preach. And at the end of your preaching, it looks like you just went to deliver a lecture. You make an altar call and people are going out instead of coming towards the altar. And you are wondering, what in the, what in the world did I do? Is this a sermon? Is it, what, what did I do? And you go back depressed and the devil says, I told you, you are not in ministry. Humble yourself and go and reapply for a job or do something meaningful with your life. And you raise a song. Find any kind of song. If there's no song, just whom anything. Find a way of expressing yourself. Because you leave, Jesus, I leave. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings Because you leave, Jesus, I leave today I leave to praise your name I leave to praise your name I have no fear of what tomorrow brings God is speaking to someone this morning. I live to praise your name. And I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Because you live, Jesus, I live today. I live to praise your name. The God that I know quarter to shame here he comes your assignment is to keep rejoicing as proof of faith ha. you're not a man no you're not a man no. you're the God who opens doors no man can shut you're not a man no you're not a man, oh. You're the God of everything. No one like you. No one like you, Jesus.
Jesus, no one like you. No one like you, eh, say, no one like you. No one like you, Father, no one like you, Master. You're the God of everything, no one like you. There are times you don't need to sing to God, you need to sing to the mountain. There are times you don't need to talk to God. The problem is not him. The problem is you and the mountain. He's coming to assist. Mountain, while I wait for God to come, let me prophesy to you like Goliath. This is how you will be moved out of my life. And I will dance before you because these Egyptians that I see today, I will see no more forever. Hallelujah. I have seen God show up for people by reason of ministry. I'm involved in the life of so many people. And I'm telling you, sometimes even as men of faith, when you see the reality of people's challenges, your heart drops. You almost want, you are, you are careful to pray because you suspect it won't work. Son of man, can these bones live? Elijah, uh, Ezekiel said, don't, don't, don't drag me into this issue. You are the only one who knows this kind of situation i'm a prophet but god don't disgrace me i don't even know where the bones are where are they you are saying can these bones live the bones are under the earth if they were gathered in one place i may believe and he said let me show you how powerful i am she sang it well you are the mighty god Hey, Lato Biju, you are the glorious God. Alag Mara, you are the mighty God. When Jesus was born, the angels came to sing and rejoice. They announced glad tidings upon the earth. Joy was very important to sustain Jesus. Very important. Believers, hear me. The spirit of depression is moving like a cloud across Africa and across Nigeria. Even strong men are falling because there is no joy. The devil continues to emphasize what you are seeing because he knows that we, the realm of the senses is where Satan defeats many. He will show you things and give you reasons why you should not rejoice. And the truth is that the challenges that stand before you, they are real. So they will bring you to a point of silence where you will count God unfaithful. You may not say it, but you have said it. So before he puts words in your mouth, put a song in your own mouth. Are we together now? I vowed a vow in my life that I will never open my mouth and say God is unfaithful. His song and his praise will remain in my mouth. Let me teach you what to do, my brothers and my sisters. Please hear me. I show you a mystery that is more... Some of you is after one, two, three years, you will look for this message and listen again and say, here was my deliverance. Let me teach you this. Go and write a list of everything. We'll do some prayers now. Write a list of everything that ails you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Go and shut the door. If you cannot sing, find, some of you need to find this Igbo high praise. You know this kind of praise that the woman prophesies before she starts singing. Unlock yourself and dance around like a madman while you dance on that request and watch the God of wonder. He's turning things around. Prophesy. For my good. All things, all things. I am the believer. One more time. 
Allah God for all is turning things around. Yeah. Apostle, I was so disappointed. I thought the guy would marry me. Just when we're preparing to go and see my parents, he said they told him not to marry me. Don't worry. You see, the only one on earth, I'm teaching you what to do. For as long as you look at what causes you pain, it will keep growing. You stand in front of your office that threw you out and you meditate on that office and the pain continues to increase and breaks your spirit. And the Bible says no man can indefinitely bear a wounded spirit. A wounded spirit is like hemorrhage. As you continue to bleed, you die. That's why people die slowly. We say they died of headache. No, they died of this sin, of losing joy. I was told of a true story that armed robbers came to someone's house. They were shouting, shooting guns and so on and so forth. And the wife tapped him and said, armed robbers are there. And he said, what's the meaning of that? Why is she tapping him? And eventually she summoned courage and went out. You know, she was blasting in tongues and went out. And eventually the people ran away. She came back and met the man dead. Who died? Not the one who went to challenge the robbers. Fear. Fear. That guy's spirit bled and he entered into a state of coma and died. Your spirit is you. Some of you already are half dead. God brought you here tonight for that restoration. He restored my soul. He restored my soul. He does not restore your soul by giving you food. He gives you joy. Joy, exceeding joy, full of glory. That's why sometimes you see people under the anointing, you see them laughing. That is, that is, that is a surgery happening. They are laughing under the anointing. You don't know. They, that's mighty victory being wrought in the spirit. They don't know why. They are laughing on behalf of the, the, the Bible. Let me tell you, every time God is about to judge, he first laughs. Psalm 2. Let me show you something. We're about to pray. Psalm 2. Mighty God. Psalm chapter 2, please. And then we'll pray. Is God helping anybody this night? Psalm chapter 2. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, Mina. Say, in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that I will rejoice. No more crying. No more complaining. I maintain my joy because I know that it is in joy that intervention comes. That's how it works. Psalm 2. Look up. Why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. Against what? The Lord and his anointed. Verse 3 says, let us break their bands asunder. That's what they are saying now. And cast away their cords from us. Verse 4. Hallelujah. Read it if you're a Christian. One to read. He that seated in the heavens shall... Hold on. Now, that laughter is to activate power. You will see it closely. The laughter is not, be, is, is not sarcasm. Even God needs joy. For that... <laughs> the Lord shall have them in derision. Verse 5. Then he shall speak to them in what? Have you ever seen somebody who wants to fight and starts laughing? <laughs> you are not aware. That, that laughter is priming the power and the fortitude to fight. That's the kind of laugh the Bible says God is doing. It is true. This is scripture. That the Lord sits in the heaven and laughs. And immediately he will speak to them in his wrath. And vex them in his sore displeasure. 
in the midst of the pain stay in joy in the midst of the crisis stay in joy in the midst of the disappointment stay in joy apostle they robbed my shop and carried everything stay in joy don't lose your joy you're about to lose everything apostle my husband is threatening divorce stay in joy don't move around telling everybody something that they cannot solve stay in joy apostle they just stole my car let me tell you how to get the car back stay in joy once you turn your face and start meditating on that pain it starts growing you will never have a car soon again Apostle, they spoke about me and said all kinds of untrue things about me. Stay in joy. It's cheaper than explaining yourself. Stay in joy. Let God speak for you. Stay in joy. Hallelujah. I rejoice in the God of my salvation. I rejoice in the God of my salvation. The mighty one who can rise up and turn things around let me tell you something about god before we pray listen don't get used to god's silence he is quick don't get used to god's silence god can arise like the mighty man that he is and with a dimension of speed you cannot tell he will come to your life and save you even his coming the bible it says is in a twinkling of an eye we are caught up God is not slack concerning his promises. Apostle, where will I get the money to build my house? It's in your joy, not in the bank. Your joy is a trusted source of finance than your bank. Where will the fresh anointing come upon? There are people who are anointed, but the anointing is not fresh. Joy, joy. I have seen more miracles in my life as a result of joy than prayer. It's difficult for you to believe this, but it's true. I'm a man of prayer, you know. I pray a lot and I bless God for the grace to pray. But I know what joy does. I have used joy as the classic proof that God has answered me. When I pray and I don't have joy, I remain there. But by the time joy comes, though weeping endures for a night, how you know the morning has come is joy. How you know there is night is weeping. You don't use darkness to know it is night. You use weeping. Every time you cry, it's a testimony that is darkness. You don't use the brightness of the sun to know that it's morning. The moment joy begins to come, God is saying, you're morning. Ah. You have turned my morning into dancing and you have turned my sorrow into joy. So, Apostle, how do I know it's a new season? Check your joy. Check your joy. The same way your joy ceases as proof that darkness is around you. You just know that I, I lost joy and I lost peace. Did the Bible not say every time righteousness, peace, and joy coexist, the kingdom is within that place? I check my joy. The days many of you have, have allowed cheap victories to pass. And I'll tell you very quickly before we pray. You got up in the morning or in the middle of the night and you are happy for reasons you cannot tell. Has it happened to anybody here? You are so excited. I'm happy. You would have capitalized on that situation to establish the victory. But because you did not have understanding, even you, you were surprised. Let me tell you, your spirit had seen something in the realm of the spirit and it was passing it to you to act it out in faith so that it will be established. After crying over the rent issue, you just went to bed and you woke up with exceeding joy. That's the time to rejoice because it means the father of spirits has gone. Somebody has woken up from his sleep because of you. If you know what to do, that's the time to say, Lord, I don't know what you are doing, but the joy is telling me my morning has come. Three things you do the moment the joy of God comes. Number one, listen. You verbalize it and declare. Words are powerful. Number two, as God grants you grace, if you can sow into that joy. Because when you sow into joy, it can reap harvest immediately. You reap in joy. 
Listen to me. You can turn any situation around when you understand this mystery of joy. It is an oil. And it, that oil must come on someone's head today. In the name of Jesus Christ. joy this works for me very much every time God wants to bring a new anointing to my life there is extreme joy extreme I cannot explain sometimes it will last for days sometimes it will last for weeks and I begin to sense that God is calling me and in the place of prayer I'm not even interceding or praying for anything I know as that joy is happening I tell you sincerely listen to me Pay attention to what I tell you. It's because new wine is being poured in you. I know this. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I live a very busy schedule. Very busy schedule. But his strength has kept me physically because of joy. I rejoice. Satan has lost it over my tears since. He has no opportunity to see it again. I have mastered the art of cheating life. My tears. God is faithful. We are going to do three things right now. Number one, we are going to rise and in the next five minutes, my time is up, but I will give you an opportunity by yourself and alone with God in this vigil. You are going to find a way of singing a song of praise and say, Lord, my joy is back. I'm ready to win. I'm ready to win. I'm tired of giving my victory to the devil. I am a believer and I am strong. I obtain my joy back by faith. Some of you will need to sing songs. Some of you will need to stand and worship him and take your eyes away from the pain. Take your eyes away from the sickness. Take your eyes away from the bills. Take your eyes away from the budget. Take your eyes away for a while. They looked unto him and they were, their faces were lightened and they were not ashamed. And then number two, I will share one more scripture with you on how to have the fullness of joy. And then we will pray. I promise you that I will not keep you long. Can we pray? Rise up on your feet, please. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord, the joy of the Lord, the joy of the Lord, of the Lord it is my strength. joy God is bringing renewal refreshing bringing your dream alive again bringing your hope alive again letting you know that the God of heaven will never leave you he will never forsake you take your eyes away from the lack of children lack of this life. just take your eyes away fix your eyes on Jesus Hallelujah. Now listen, I want you in the next two or three minutes, just talk to the Lord and say, my joy is restored. I worship you. I refuse to give up my joy. I gave up my money. I will not give up my joy. I gave up my peace. I will not give up my joy. Go ahead. Talk to God.
Shout. Shout. 2019, you came to receive a baptism of joy afresh. When there is no joy, there is no progress. When there is no fullness of joy, life will squeeze you into a mold and defeat you cheaply. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. I don't see the challenges, I refuse to see. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. There is power in your name. Come on, sing it, Mina. Yeah. It's you that I see. You are here working miracles. I worship you. I worship you. You are here turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. Let me give you a reason to maintain your joy. Listen. We make a miracle walk. Promise King. Light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hold on, guys. Rejoice knowing this. There is an information that you know. We make a miracle walk. Light in the darkness is not what you do. That is who you are. So I rejoice. What does it take, oh God, for you to give me a job? What does it take for you to give me a child? All it takes is your will. Your will, your willingness is the raw material. What does it take for you to bring me out of that situation? What does it take for you to exalt me? We make miracle walk, promise keep, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Listen, here's how Apostle Paul said it. He said, rejoice in the Lord always. It's not an advice, it's an instruction. Rejoice in the Lord always. And in case you forget, let me repeat. Again, I say. That means for your own good is a prescription to keep you in victory. Rejoice in the Lord. But I found out that there is also a realm called complete joy. You can have joy but not have the fullness of joy. Let me show you how to have the fullness of joy. Jesus himself taught us. John 16, 24. Never forget this scripture for the rest of your life. We're going to read it together. And then now we pray. Please read with me, Mina. Ready? One, two, read. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name, Ask, and ye shall receive. Why? That your joy may be full. Look up. It is true that joy brings harvest, 
but harvest too brings joy. Hello? It is true that joy brings results, but results too bring joy. So I use my joy to get the results that will multiply my joy. To get more results that will multiply my joy until my joy is full. And Jesus said somewhere in your joy equation there must be receiving. That there are times if you don't receive something, your joy cannot be complete. It is true that whether the house rent is there or not, you should have joy. But what if you rejoice with the house rent in your hand? It is true that whether you have a house or not, you should rejoice. But what if you rejoice with the keys now in your hands? It is true that you should rejoice whether the child comes or not. But what if you stand and hold triplets? Let me tell you, results can produce joy. Results can produce joy. Ask Sarah. Results can produce joy. Ask the people who are about to be disgraced in a wedding feast when wine finished. Results can produce joy. Ask 5,000 hungry men minus women and children. Results can produce joy. Weep not, thou that didst not bear. Burst forth into singing, because many are the children of her that is without child. Let me tell you this. He says, ask, and that's what we are going to do now, that you may receive, so that your joy, Mina, will be full. I loved God, whether I was anointed or not, and I truly had joy. But my joy is full now that he has anointed me because I am happy. Are we together now? I love God whether I had five naira in my pocket or not. But now at least I can bring out ten naira to eat with. I am happy. Results can multiply joy. Results can prime your joy to the full. Many of you, your joy is on reserve. It's there, but it's on reserve. Some half tank, oh, we are butu sunk. Be tired of the knee level. The ankle level, you must insist that within these few minutes we have, Lord, I must leave shout 2019 with the fullness of joy. The fullness of joy. When that devilish sickness leaves your body, it perfects your joy. When God speaks to your life and destiny and opens the gates for you, it perfects your joy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The woman at the well, when she met Jesus, she ran with joy and called other people and said, come see a man that has shown me, has told me what I have done. Your joy must be perfected. You are going to pray. What one thing do you trust God to do tonight for you to walk away with the fullness of joy? The Bible says, he that told, he that told, you have not asked, but now he said, ask so that you can receive for everyone that asketh receiveth so ask so that you will receive so that your joy may be full lift your voice mina inside and outside please ask lift your voice and pray i'm about to pray for you ask is any man afflicted let him pray if you've been evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your heavenly father please ask ask for yourself some of you are asking for your ministry some of you are asking for your family outside make sure you are praying you are asking asking faith
Father, I rejoice. But place fresh fire upon my life for the sake of my ministry. Ask, Lord, turn my financial captivity around. Ask, turn my spiritual life around. Us pray. Shela baratosh kabra na bala na bala kata. Some of you are asking that God will bring your family out from the bed of affliction, like Petrog said. Pastor Petrog was sharing. He said some of you need God to solve foundational issues. Take the pain away, oh God. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice. Come on, Mina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've taken the pain and the sorrow away. You've given me peace undeniable. There's no need to cry cause you're always with me. You're my father, my everything. Yeah. Oh, may my He will take your pain away and then he'll give you joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and say, yeah, 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 yeah. has come oh, 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 oh. your rising has come I'm prophesying oh, 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 oh. your help has come oh, 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 oh. your very simple song says, I, 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 my help has come when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream 
hear me then our mouth were filled with laughter laughter and said they among the hidden the lord had done great things for them he says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the negev he says that they that sow in tears they shall reap in joy i have about five minutes or so and i want to pray for you to lend my support in this program and i want you to release your faith within these five minutes because your life must change things will be redirected and reordered within these minutes you are under a very strong influence this morning that can turn things around the worshipers have come to set the atmosphere i've spoken to you about joy you are receiving first the oil of gladness is a real grace you will find out that no challenge in your life will sustain the power to bring you to a point where you say god is unfaithful you will stand before what made you cry before shout and still laugh and say the lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall i be afraid of shall not fear what man does to me i'm not an orphan there is a god in heaven Jehoshua, the one who saves. But I also know that tonight there will be restoration. I also know that tonight there will be healings. I also know and believe that tonight there will be accelerations. And the Lord will do this and bring honor and glory to his name. The Lord will do this and honor this program. Now let me pray for you. It's very funny what is about to happen now. Let me explain it before I pray. I have sensed in every meeting that I go to now, among the many prayers that I pray for the people, God continues to impress me to release the grace for speed. Let me tell you the truth, people of God, the king's business requires haste. We do not have all the time. Are we together now? Paul admonishes us to redeem time. That means if time is against you, there must be an advantage that comes upon your life. That's the first prayer. I want to pray this prayer for speed. And you will be amazed at the way many of you will make strange acceleration after this prayer. Spiritually, and then it follows every other area. Now, when I pray this prayer, listen very carefully. I don't intend to take our time. It's already morning. The hand of the Lord will come upon many people and you will find them physically running for some of them. I say this so that you please can help them. Praise the Lord that as you bring them, you are helping them so they don't injure themselves inside and outside. It must happen. It's the way God does it. I, I don't know why he does it. He just causes people to act out what is happening to them in the realm of the spirit. And some of you, this day will not break without you seeing the physical manifestation. You will finish the program and before you are going home, you are seeing text messages and all kinds of things coming. Every man ministers according to the measure of grace given to him. It's a sin to propose things you do not have the grace to defend hallelujah can I pray for you I stand in agreement with your dear pastor and the men of God in this place and I want to pray for you now father thank you because you honor your word and your name I want to pray for you right now my God I'm already just seeing a cloud I'm even barely lifting my hands and I'm just seeing fire fall on people I'm going to count three and the moment that happens, this grace for speed, it will be very fast. We may not be able to take testimonies from the prayer for the sick because we have to honor the remaining part of the meeting. But then at the same time, as I release this grace for speed, I pray by the God of heaven that let it produce in people's lives. Father, thank you for the anointing that you have granted. Your people need to be shifted to very strange levels. And I declare right now at the count of three, May that grace find a destiny and a family that must accelerate. Get ready now. One, my God. Two, three. Take that grace now. 
take that grace now please help them I stretch my hands by the spirit I decree and declare can you bring them out if it's possible I release that grace speed now I shift you by the spirit enter strange dimensions of spiritual possibilities the speed of God upon you please help them speed by the spirit of God speed in ministry speed in life I declare it upon you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ number two I'm praying please bring them out if you can I just want to pray very quickly I'm seeing the Lord restoring and I'm seeing quite a number of people up to 31 people God is saying I'm restoring the years and restoring things you lost I don't know where you are but I stretch my hands right now may that anointing rest upon you now Sheparus Kabarata I command restoration here at shout 2019 I speak and I release that grace receive restoration now receive restoration now bring them out receive restoration now by the Spirit of God restoration now and I will restore the years that the canker worm the palmer worm has eaten I speak by the Spirit me now hear me I don't care what you have lost I stand by the God of heaven and I declare restoration to you now restoration now hallelujah please bring them out pastor sir not this man the other man yes you this one come no sir this man this very one no not you sir this man lift your hands the Lord is restoring your fire and your grace step into a new dimension of fire and grace the Lord is restoring that fire and that grace I want to pray now I'm seeing a grace for the prophetic in a strange way the eyes that see this will come on many people I'm praying right now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus I'm seeing ancient prophetic wells being stirred up again here at shout Pastor Pedro prophesied and said that this is the center and out of this place will come a chauffeur to the nations at the count of three on men and women you must drink of that wine one two three shout Jesus take that grace now let there be that staring from your spirit man in the mighty name of Jesus I release that grace the front to the back outside enter that realm you have seen it in your visions you have seen it in your dreams shout 2019 I release that grace upon you the eyes that see and the ears that hear the Lord is showing me oil coming on people's hands and the Lord is saying it's a grace for results it's a grace for performance I pray for you I don't know who in the crowd inside and outside is under the sound of my voice but I'm speaking right now the mantle that must rest on you for strange results receive that grace in the name of Jesus receive it right now by the power of the Holy Ghost it comes on you like fire strange results in your life you reign you reign hello you you reign, you reign, you reign. You reign, you reign. Hello, you reign, you reign. 
na 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 ye na 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 ye he ye na 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 I decree and declare that every force that is not on of God sitting on anyone's destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead be liberated now be liberated now in the mighty name of Jesus please hear me I'm speaking to everyone here whether politicians business people in ministry everything you should have achieved this year until now your hands is yet to do it I stretch my hands obtain the grace the finishers anointing you must finish it before this year is done in the name of Jesus Christ I pray concerning everything that is dead or dying in your life hear the word of the Lord under this atmosphere of praise I command it to come back to life now in the name of Jesus Christ now if you are sick just lay your hands in your body make contact with your body let me pray now quickly I declare be healed in the name of Jesus I take authority over every sickness every infirmity I curse it now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare be free from it now and any orchestration that is not of the Christ any influence those that are here in front and all who are watching and following I decree and declare any influence in your life that is not of the Christ I command it to leave you right now I command that it must release your destiny now now listen I want to release the oil of gladness it's a real grace it's a real anointing now thanks be to God which causes us always to triumph I pray for you here at shout 2019 let the grace that keeps joy in your life regardless of situations may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now receive joy joy unspeakable joy unspeakable joy in the midst of storms in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for everyone who is part of the house of the rock family I decree upon you this oil of joy oil of gladness may it never depart from you it will produce marvelous results in your life in the name of Jesus Christ hear me let me speak to you whatever it is that morning took from your life may joy restore it now every family here trusting God for an open door I stand by the God of heaven between now and the next 21 days I'm prophesying to you by the God of heaven who anoints men may that door be opened unto you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit I connect you to the helpers of your destiny and in the name of Jesus may they show up to hold your hands and lift you I pray for everyone who is in ministry hear the word of the Lord I speak to you enter a new season of results extraordinary results in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have lost I command it to look for you and return to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ finally I speak over your life the one thing you ask the Lord to do for you to complete your joy in this meeting I release my faith and I agree with you may it be yours right now may it be yours right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ 
I pray finally for the body of Christ in Mina. Using this platform, in the name of Jesus, may the purposes of God as committed to this house and as committed to this city never be aborted. I declare that God will continually find a remnant from this city that will project the light and the power, the grace and the wisdom of God. And I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the church of the Lord Jesus Christ in this city will stamp the gates of hell and stamp the gates of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bless you by the Spirit. I bless you by the hand of God. I bless you with all spiritual blessings. May joy and laughter never depart from your mind. Never depart from your mouth. Never depart from your destiny. And every result that has been received in the realm of the spirit, I command it to manifest in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Petro, thank you so much. Mina, thank you so much. I love every one of you. In Jesus' name. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.